Hey everyone, I want to do a quick video about this Micro Air Easy Start. Uh, I installed this a little over a year ago. Uh, I almost had it for two years now. And uh, I'll put some links down in the description uh, to a series of videos I've made about this, including the installation and the difference it's made in terms of the inrush to start my unit. But uh, today I want to do a little different uh, thing. I want to uh, talk about a feature, a special feature that this unit has that no one really talks that much about, and that is the app. Uh, the app uh, is something that uh, is unique to this soft start and uh, is a huge help, and uh, I want to uh, do a quick uh, review on what the app does and what's inside and, uh, and how it helps you. So let's uh, flip over to the app and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are in the app, and uh, the uh, AC unit needs to be on for this to work, and you need to be within Bluetooth range because it communicates via Bluetooth. So right when it opens, you see this screen, and all you gotta do is tap connect to easy start, and uh, it will go ahead and communicate to the device. Now, if we come over here, this is my favorite tab. This is the status tab. It tells us if everything is normal. So our line frequency is 60 as it should be. Live current, uh, you know, what's drawing right now, 7.8, 7.9. It fluctuates uh, every five seconds as it updates. The last peak start uh, took 23.7 amps. It's learned its five starts and it's had a total of 7,334 starts. So quite a few. And then there's five faults. So that's kind of cool. You can come over here. I'm going to jump past some of these tabs. If we go to faults, I've got all of these faults uh, turned on. So if there's unexpected current, a power interruption, a compressor stall, failed startup, an open current, overcurrent, wiring issue, all of that I have turned on. But you can toggle them off and on. If you do change one, then you have to go ahead and click the grayed out button there at the bottom that says send settings to easy start. Uh, but let's say you want to know what you know those faults are. You can come here to uh, diagnose. You go ahead and refresh the data and then uh, you've populated uh, your contact information here. You click that button that says send micro send data to micro air. You send that to them and they I, in my experience have gotten back to me within 24 hours um, telling me what the uh, errors were and what it protected uh, me from. I have tried sending it to MicroAir just to uh, get some information and they've gotten right back to me with it. So anyway, that's that's pretty deluxe. You have this tab right here to relearn the power up sequence. You can go ahead and toggle the relearn button on there and then send that to um, the MicroAir power, MicroAir easy start and it will redo its five learning uh, sequences. They have a default ramp uh, that you can just apply. I personally don't think that's good. I think you should let it learn the unique characteristics of your own uh, unit. So no power up delay is, if you notice uh, on my previous uh, videos of the startup sequence, and I'll stick a link up in the top right corner to this, but the fan uh, begins first, uh, the condenser fan and then the compressor uh, gets kicked on by the micro easy start. That's normal operation. Uh, if you want the fan and the compressor to both turn on simultaneously, you can click that option to do a no power up delay and the condenser fan motor and the compressor will turn on uh, simultaneously. Lots of flexibility and all of it in the app. And then of course you've got uh, updates. So you can just uh, come here and uh, and check for updates and uh, it will check and uh, if there's an update it will let you know and uh, if not obviously you don't need to do anything there we go update not available so we're all up to date all is well now i don't know if you noticed on that first screen there uh, it is very critical it stays uh, powered up so make sure you really crank that thermostat down for a while so that you don't lose power while it's updating because that can be a problem. But that uh, is pretty much the, the app and uh, it's pretty sweet. So this is really what sets the Micro Air Easy Start as, uh, apart from others. And uh, I think certainly 
uh, for me is super valuable. I love being able to check and see the status and see, you know, what it's currently running at, you know, the last peak startup, how many starts we've had on it. All that data is, is super nice. And I can find out, you know, how many faults uh, it's protected me from, which is, uh, I think, valuable as well. So certainly uh, helped uh, protect the air conditioner in at least uh, five instances thus far and uh, 7,334 uh, times of less wear and tear that uh, my unit has had to, to start up. Okay guys, that uh, takes care of that for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like and uh, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.